So, zoom in on the ingredients. What we have is a stewing hen, some Napa cabbage, scallions, optional some cilantro, ginger, and one massive carrot. I've never seen a carrot that big before. It's a little scary. And we're gonna feature our star, Mr. Instapot, today. Because, well, poor Cookie. Cookie wants to steal the show. Feel free to sneak little pictures of Cookie in, too. <laughs> okay. Any guesses as to what we're making today? Well, if you guess chicken soup, you are absolutely right. We're gonna start off just by opening this stewing hen. And by the way, you'll notice that this hen is extremely lean compared to say even your Cornish game hens, which makes it really good for just having a less fatty soup. If you can't get a stewing hen, go for whatever you can find. Um, I think the smaller the better so that it actually fit into your instant pot. So go for a Cornish game hen if you can't find this one. So just to start off, I'm gonna put it right into the instant pot. Try to push it down if you can. And then add a good amount of water to cover at least halfway um, up the hen. Before we get on with the vegetables, what you're gonna wanna do is start heating up the water. So I'm gonna set the Instant Pot onto a saute setting and then just loosely put the lid on top without sealing it tightly. Now on to preparing the vegetables. I'm gonna start by washing some ginger and a rather big scallion. So on to the chopping, we're going to first just chop about two inches from the bottom. That part of the scallion, if you just stick right into some soil, you might actually grow a whole new scallion. So I like to do that. And with the other parts, I'm just gonna cut them into rough two inch long pieces. And with the ginger, I'll just slice it. This next thing I found at my local grocery market, it's kind of like an oversized tea bag where you can put in some aromatics that you'd like to flavor your soup, but not actually bite into by accident. So I'm putting in there some ginger, as well as some other aromatics, such as Szechuan peppercorns. Now, if you add just a little bit of this, it's not gonna make you go all numb. Um, it's just gonna add a very nice flavoring to your soup. So we're gonna put in maybe about a teaspoonful. Um, it's really hard to get out of the bag, so I'm taking out my hand just to measure it out very roughly. And if you've ever had this in a dish, you know you don't actually wanna bite into one of these uh, little fire bombs. So we'll definitely put it in a little tea bag if you can. If not, don't worry, just drop it all in with the soup and many, many generations of Chinese have survived without these fancy tea bags. Something else to go in is star anise. And um, again, just one, and I like to pop this directly in the tea bag as well. So now I'm all ready to close this right up. And it really will hold everything in and you can immerse it directly into the water in your pot. So you can see the water hasn't yet come to a boil, but it's actually getting warmer. So now I'll keep on going with my other vegetables. So carrot, take a peeler. When it's this symmetric, it's actually quite easy to peel this guy. So I just peel the whole way around. And after giving it a good wash, I can now start trimming this. So I'm gonna trim this kind of on a bias and it'll be about half inch thick in width. And um, I just want this to be sturdy enough so that it'll hold up under pressure cooking. So you really don't wanna go any thinner than half an inch here. Once it's done, drop it into the pot. Now I'm gonna season the soup with some salt and white pepper powder. So start with the salt rather liberally because we're making a soup and there's a lot of water in there. And one thing about Chinese, chicken soups is we tend to use white pepper instead of black pepper and it's just a slightly different flavor profile. Now we're ready to start applying pressure. So I am carefully putting the lid on, sealing it, and making sure that nozzle at the very top is set to pressure on. And down below I'm going to start setting for high pressure for 30 minutes. That's how long I want to go for. I actually know this chicken's going to be a little bit tough 
um, because it is not a young chicken. It's actually one of the older hens that is made especially or bred especially for stewing. So now you're going to think, I forgot the Napa cabbage. I didn't. The reason why I'm dealing with the Napa cabbage last is that this thing wilts really quickly. If you put it into the soup before you put on the pressure, it's going to come out tasting like mush. And that is not an okay texture for a Napa cabbage. So now I'm going to wash about five or six leaves of Napa cabbage and then just chop it fairly coarsely into about one inch wide pieces. So now after 30 minutes are up, um, you'll hear an audio beep from the instant pot. So that'll say it's about time to start um, either releasing the pressure or just letting it release naturally. Now I was in a hurry to get lunch. This is a work day for me. So I let it release the, the uh, pressure immediately by pressing that pressure valve to on. And I did rotate my pot a little bit to make sure that the pressure didn't go completely underneath my microwave or something. I'm sure it wouldn't damage the microwave, but this is just a safer way to go. So as that's releasing, you can step aside, make sure your face isn't right near the opening unless you really want to feel like Old Faithful just blew up at you. Um, and just let it go for a while until you hear no more hissing from your pot. And there should be that final click that tells you um, the pressure is completely released. Okay. So at this point, it already smells like heaven, but remember, we're not quite done yet. So at this stage, we are going to put in our Napa cabbage, our chopped scallions as well. Stir things around to make sure your vegetables are well submerged. And then put the lid on and set this to saute again just to bring it back up to a boil and lightly cook the Napa cabbage. Should be no more than five minutes. If you wanna turn this chicken soup into a chicken noodle soup, at this stage, you can also put in two rice vermicellis. These can cook really, really fast as long as you submerge them into the soup itself. On goes the lid. Now I think we're about ready to take it off. You can see the steam is blowing right through. And when you open the lid, there is a very vigorous boil. And it smells just amazing. The noodles are soft. The Napa cabbage are still a little bit crunchy. And we are ready to serve. Oh, look who came back to uh, smell some more chicken. All right. All right, there you have it. Two bowls of chicken noodle soup. Delicious and healthy.